right guys welcome back to the channel today hope everybody's doing well quick little video today on upgrading the ct125 shifter um nothing fancy full disclosure i haven't done this job before so you guys ride along with me and i'm gonna tell you show you and tell you why i think it's a good idea if you're gonna ride off road to change the little the heel toe shifter some people might love it but just right quick let's go ahead and get into it guys and uh We'll walk through the process, and I'll link the shifter below, and uh, you guys can decide if it's something you think you might want or not. All right, so what we got here is, of course, if you guys have a CT125, you'll know already that it has a heel toe shifter. Two things. I wear Forma Adventure boots, and I notice when I wear those on a long ride, I can accidentally hit this right here, the, the heel shifter sometimes, and if I'm in fourth gear, and I accidentally push down on that, it'll make the clutch slip. That's definitely gonna lead to a premature, you know, like premature clutch failure. So we don't want that. So that's the first thing. Now, a lot of people just cut this off, like right here, and that that's a great thing to do if you want. Um, oh, and by the way, there is a recall on these shifters. Uh, mine's been done. I guess that they break somewhere at the weld, maybe. Okay, the next thing is, this is my main reason for changing it besides the heel part is this right here is hard mounted and i've had a vine get around this and i've hit this on th on objects out in the woods so i think it's a good idea if you're going to ride a ton off road not necessarily on road it's no big deal but if you're going to ride off in the woods you're going to want to get a breakaway shifter where this this head actually breaks away if you hit something now this is the hammer head shout out to my buddy Forrest out in idaho i'll drop a link for his channel um he actually bought a ct125 he came out here to visit his in-laws from idaho and actually found one in two towns up from us from where we're at here um grabbed it up from a guy put it in the back of his van and headed back out west with it so it actually the guy had a crf 250l and he had already had an extra shifter laying around and he already had swapped it on there so that's where i found the idea as far as bike had it on there already so we went ahead and got one for this bike because man it, it seems like it's going to be a great you know a great little upgrade so but anyway let's get this uh get this shifter opened up and i'll show you guys what what the deal is with it here and again, this part number here, 11-0112-10-10. That's Hammerhead. I actually got this one straight from their website. I'll drop a link below. I think it was like 40 bucks maybe. And you may be able to find it cheaper on Amazon or something, but I figured I'd get it straight from them and that get rid of any questions. Okay, so this is a billet aluminum shifter, all aluminum comes with the mountain bolt here's the main ingredient so if you hit some limbs or something vines this will break all the way away out of the way and it's got a really strong spring to snap back most motocross bikes have this in case you run into somebody you know on the race or something that's where this technology came from but anyway let's uh let's get this shift this old shifter off now we're gonna have to lower this foot peg assembly so i'm thinking we're gonna have to loosen the crash bar slash engine guard let this down this all of this is all together the kickstand the foot peg and all let's let that down then we'll get this off and put this on and see what we think about it. now there's a trick here if you guys worry about putting this back where it was you can get down here at eye level with this and put a piece of like blue painters tape and let it kind of give you a reference line but if you'll notice this shifter is pretty much horizontal with the ground so uh that's how we'll put this one back and then you can always play with it if you you know your boot doesn't get under there so all right guys let's get into it all right looks to me like the first thing we're going to want to do is get these um engine guard bolts out and i'm thinking that this may swing down when we do this let's see if it does yeah all right so that that swings down out of our way i think plenty enough so we can just basically with it swinging down out of the way you can just uh 
leave it mounted here and it pivots inside there. I figured it would. All right. So now we're going to want to take these four bolts out right here. Possibly we may be able to loosen these two and then take these all the way out and let this pivot down. I don't think anything else is in the way. Now there's a connector here for the um, kick starter or kickstand switch. We may end up having to take that out. Let's see. And this is these are 12 millimeters by the way oh yeah yeah that one's loose a little bit in front there let's loosen these to begin with not all the way but And then we can take these possibly all the way out. All we're really looking for is to get enough room over here. I'll show you guys to get this shifter out of our off of the spline out of the way. We'll take these two all the way out, and they're both going to be the same length, I'm sure. We'll make sure of that though. I don't know if that's going to be enough or not. Let's loosen these on up some more. That may possibly let it come all the way off. We'll try it and see. If not, we can take those the rest of the way out. All right, so the kickstand uh, foot peg guard has washers. They're a little longer, and then the engine guard doesn't. All right, so this is going to be a 10 millimeter. I have to tilt this down just a little. Let's loosen that up. And you're gonna have to take this one all the way out because um, these bikes have a little groove in the shifter shaft assembly. So the shifter can't come off if this comes loose. All right, so that's just that bolt. Now let's see if this is gonna, oh yeah, look at there, perfect. All right, that give us plenty of room. So what I was talking about before, I think this weld right here is what breaks on the, you know, for the recall. But what a lot of people do, they just cut it right here and then they just have a, you know, just a toe shifter. So nothing wrong with that, but we're gonna be doing a lot of off-road riding. So let's get this other one on here. All right, this one comes with its own eight millimeter bolt. And to keep it kind of like factory, these are gonna be the same length, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm gonna stay with this, this 10 just so we can be more like factory. All right, and what we talked about before is getting this thing kind of level like it was. And you'll see those splines are perfect. Yeah, that looks better. All right, we're gonna stick with this 10. We'll make sure it doesn't interfere with anything being a little bigger, but I, I don't think it will. Now, if you guys can do what you wanna do, but I would probably to get the maximum amount of splines to be in contact with this shifter is make it even on the end right here and, and end just a little bit. If you can see that, um, because this is aluminum, if you'll get it right past the taper, that's where I'm gonna leave it. All right, so let's snug this down. don't have to get crazy tight because that is going into aluminum but you want it tight enough to where it really pinches those splines and that's going to be completely clear of everything i feel pretty good about that that good breakaway head on there let's make darn sure okay i like it i think that's pretty good all right let's get everything tightened back up take it for a little test drive all right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is start these back with the washer, the longer ones with the washer. Snug these up. These little bikes sure are a pleasure to work on. I tell you, they've been the same since way back in the day. Been working on them for a long time and I'm glad 
get the opportunity to mess around with this one a little bit. All right, whoops, let's tighten this in a cross pattern. Not 100% necessary, but I think it's a good idea. And if you um, are like me, you'll want to start everything by hand. Now, I got a friend, his name's Felix. He likes to start everything with a um, 3 x impact, and if it goes in sideways, he just keeps on hammering. But he don't ever have to buy any Loctite, so that's no biggie. And uh, great fella, but he hates buying Loctite. Shout out, Felix. <laughs> I love you, bro. <laughs> All right, let's got that. Let's go back over these two one more time, or four rather, just to be sure. I'm just yanking Felix chain. He's he's a good fella. He just loves them three eighths impact. So he said he had a three eighths impact and a dream, and he bought the house and provides for the family with those with that one tool <laughs> all right i think we got it guys all right guys let's go over one more time um what tools they used and that's all we got and then maybe i'll take it for a little ride okay so of course he used a 10 wrench to do the shifter bolt there um i brought this 10 and an 8 ratchet just in case i needed it and this is a 12 medium depth with an extension 3x drive with a, a long ratchet and i brought this to use but i just uh went ahead and did it by hand and then this little handy dandy shop light works great actually helps for the camera too and i brought the creeper out but eh, we could just lay on the nice clean concrete here so yeah it's on there looks good and uh, let's take it for a little ride and see how it does. Yeah, it's feeling pretty good, guys. That's, uh, I think that's gonna do the trick. It's, um, definitely with a pair of boots on, it's gonna be nice. it up and it won't throw you through the over the handlebars <laughs> all right guys like i said thanks again for riding along today um like i said this shifter might not be for everyone it, but if you ride in the woods a lot and you you know you, or you worry about catching your boot on that hill shifter like i did this is a great upgrade it's fairly inexpensive it's you know it took me 15 minutes to do it so uh, a couple little hand tools you'll be good and like I said, I'll drop the link below. Um, also, super quick, I'm gonna drop a link for uh, the guys at Motocamp Nerd. They have great, lightweight, hiking style Motocamp gear. Really good people to help the channel out. And also, um, we're doing a little partnership with Bigfoot Bushcraft now, and uh, they make fire starters, and they make some knives and other things, a little stove and stuff, but their fire starters are excellent. We've been using those for years and i uh, really love them so excited to be working with those guys so smash that like button come back to the channel if you if you like what you see um think about subbing um we're we're on our way to 3,000. we're going to try to do a live feed when we get there 
and uh, we really appreciate each and every one of you guys and uh, we'll come back with some more of this CT125 content um, going to Teleco in, in, late, in late end of this month so may take the CT and get some good footage alright guys appreciate it leave me a comment down there let me know what you think have a good one